Global warming, this is by far the most serious single challenge ever to face the human family in the 100,000 years of the modern Homo sapien. Right now, we've taken control of the whole planet's surface. So we're already everywhere. We're kind of caught in a tragic predicament. We, we made a lot of collectively tragic choices. The National Academy of Science, the UN studies, all these studies have said, look out for the anecdotes. They're coming. You'll see more radical weather changes. You'll see more hurricanes. We're seeing it. They said, you will begin to watch the Arctic. That's the canary in the mine it should begin to move toward ice free and there'll be no ice up there in 50 years. We are seeing great glaciers cutting off into the Atlantic. We're seeing all this happen. Shishmaref is one of the world's first communities that will be forced to evacuate because of the effects of global warming. We may see somewhere between a two and a half degree Fahrenheit rise in temperature in the next century this century, and 10 degrees plus on the upside. Let me say, if it's two and a half degrees, it's gonna be trouble, but we can probably adjust. If it's anywhere over six degrees, I have no prescriptions because civilization as we know it and the landscape in which we live on this planet will be radically changed in the lifetime of children who are now two or three years old. In fact, if you were to measure human accomplishments in terms of sheer impact, You'd have to say regretfully that global warming may turn out to be the greatest single accomplishment of the human race, although it's a negative one. The human race in less than 100 years has actually changed the chemistry of a planet in the universe. Because this is about us and this is about our future. I'm pushing right now plug-in hybrids. Here's the partnership. I'm, I'm talking about three, you know, five CEOs, auto company CEO, builder CEO, developers, utility, and those are the only people in the room. The DOE's long-term goal is to develop zero energy houses, houses that on average produce as much energy as they use. We have the Saudi Arabia of solar sitting right out there on these rooftops and parking lots. We don't need to go to foreign lands to, uh, you know, secure our energy future. It's right here. It's coming down from, you know, from the sun every day. I don't think we'll run out of oil. I don't think we'll run out of coal. I, I just think we'll run out of uh, patience with stupid people. <laughs>